The Silver 9000E is a fully computerised lightweight sewing machine weighing in at 8.5 kilograms. It has the alphabet in three different fonts in upper and lower case, so it's perfect for personalising and embellishing your projects. It's also a very popular sewing machine in schools and colleges because of its reliability and durability. The 9000D has 265 stitches, including those three alphabets and 12 one-step buttonholes. They're really easy to choose. All you need to do is decide which stitch you're going to use, choose the number and program it in. You have an, a large LED screen so you can see clearly not just the stitch that you've chosen, but the recommended stitch length, stitch width, the tension and the foot that it's recommending for you to use. Um, to choose those stitches, we come down to the keypad here on the right, which has soft touch buttons so again very clear and very precise and uh, you can alter both the length and the width of most of those stitches. Now the accessory compartment is really exciting, it's a three-tiered accessory compartment which is absolutely full of feet. So in the first stage here you have a rolled hem foot, you have a cording foot so you can do some lovely decorations, this is a zipper foot, then you have your over edge foot, we have a quarter inch foot which gives you a perfect quarter inch seaming if you're doing patchwork or quilting. This one's a gathering foot, all of this explained in the manual. You have an adjustable blind hemming foot and your one-step automatic buttonhole foot. It doesn't end there because as you come into the side of the machine, don't forget to look in here because there will be a box with your walking foot which enables multi-layers of fabric to be drawn through the machine at the same time. So for instance, if you're putting lining into um, a pair of curtains, your lining is going to be a lighter weight of fabric than your curtain fabric. We don't want it to slip and slide around so the walking foot is invaluable not just for quilters but for home interiors. Now if I close over this accessory compartment and take off this arm creating a free arm inside here you have more so you have your seam ripper extra bobbins and extra spool pins so you can do twin needle sewing and there's also um, a foot for sewing buttons on you have a darning foot so you can freehand embroider with this machine and there's a satin stitch foot there as well but let's click that back on and get sewing because this is what this machine is all about ease of use so first thing to do is to choose my fabric and then choose my stitch. So if you go back to the inside of the lid, this is where all your stitches are numbered. And there are five sections and they're all chaptered, if you like, by the circle with the stitch, the coloured circle, and then the three A's, which are the alphabets in the three fonts. So I want to go for one of the cross stitches, say number 45. So I need to go into the second of the modes by choosing that stitch. So as we come down to the front, here's my mode button, and then I've got my first chapter, second chapter, and those three A's, which are the three fonts. And I need to be in the second mode. So if I press the mode button, the second light is highlighted. Then I choose my stitch, and I was going to go for number 45. So I simply key in to the soft keypad, number 45, and my stitch is shown on the screen. It will show you my stitch length, my stitch width, the recommended foot, whether the needle's in the up or down position, and the tension, which I don't need to touch then all I need to do is press go. Now there is a foot pedal included, but I don't want to use the foot pedal. And that makes it so much easier if maybe you aren't very able-bodied or um, you want to sit and sew on the floor would be an option for you as well. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. So off to maximum speed, all I need to do is to guide my fabric in a straight line. I don't need to push it and I don't need to pull it. And when I get to the end of my design, I can again press stop. Now I can choose whether I want the needle in the up or the down position and that will be the finishing position. And I can also, if I'm sewing through multi layers of fabric or heavy weight of fabric, adjust the pressure of the foot onto my fabric with the dial that's just on the inside of the machine. So I'm just coming up towards the end. I can slow right down again if I need to be precise or if I'm sewing around a curve. When I'm happy with what I'm stitching, then I'll just press stop. My needle's in the upper position, so I simply take this out of the side, use a thread cutter at the side of the machine, and there is my perfect stitching. Now there's also a memory on this machine, so I can store my designs and I could maybe put a little bit of cross stitch next to a name or a number or different designs. But when it comes to embellishing, it doesn't get much more exciting than the stitches that you have on this machine. Whether it's hearts or swirls or leaves or flowers, whether you're using a simple stitch or you want to pick out individual stitches from the designs, you're going to have loads of fun with this one. 
So I think you'll agree, an impressive machine for perfect sewing.